Hello, today I'm making a video to go over a single phase GE panel board. In this video we're going to go over the breaker configuration and the bus layout for the panel board itself using the drawing that I have illustrated here. Single phase GE panels are most commonly found in residential homes and they are unique from any other type of panel board in the fact that there are two types of breakers. There's a thin type breaker and a thick type breaker. Here I have a thin type 2 pole 50 amp thin GE breaker. <clears throat> and here is a 2 pole thick 50 amp GE breaker. These are the two types of breakers that are used in the board that we're going over today. And to start, if this were an actual panel, there would be two main lugs at the top of the panel where your main feeder wires connect to the panel board. These wires are known as the A and B phase, which I have illustrated here. A, B, A, B. and the breaker spacing is numbered in order from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. Professional electricians find it quicker and easier to count down on either side knowing that on the left side we have odds and on the right side there are evens. So when trying to determine the number of a breaker space as quick as to count down on either side let's say we go on the left side we would count down the odds in order from 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13 and so on. On the right the evens 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 and so on. The configuration for the thin type breakers is that it takes one breaker space and splits it into two parts like I have illustrated here. So space one has two parts, part one and part two. Both parts are on the A phase as I have illustrated here. In order to to get the proper spacing for 240 bolt two pole breakers from the top of the panel at space one part one you have to skip you have to put one 20 amp breaker at the top in order to have the spacing for the two pole breaker to go below it so here I have a microwave drawn and that would be a single 20 amp breaker like I have here and below that would be the oven it's very important when you're working with two pole thin breakers that you have the you have the breaker space properly in order to get 240 volts it is possible to have a two pole breaker on the same space if that two pole 50 amp breaker were on space one both legs coming out of the breaker would be 120 volts both on the A phase and that will not create 240 volts for 240 volts you have to have 120 volts on the A phase and 120 volts on the B phase. If you have a two pole breaker installed on the same space <clears throat> you will not get 240 volts and the equipment will not work properly. So for example on space one spot two we have our oven which is 120 volts on the A phase and on space 3 
spot one, we have a hundred our oven, which is 120 volts on the B phase. That creates 240 volts. Another example below that is on space three, spot two, we have a water heater, and that is 120 volts on the B phase. And on space five, spot one, we have a water heater, which is 120 volts on the A phase. One more example on space five, spot two, we have our AC furnace. We have 120 volts on our AP, A phase. And space seven, spot one, we have 120 volts on the AC furnace to create 240 volts. That is the configuration for the thin 240 volt breakers. When dealing with the thick tie breakers, it's a little bit more simplistic in that each space is one spot for the breaker. So for example, I have space 15, 13 and 15. I have drawn an oven. And if that were a thick tie breaker, it would just look like that. And there you could see that on one side we have 120 volts on the A phase and on the other 120 volts on the B phase. It is code now that in a residential home all bedrooms, hallways, and living rooms should be on an arc vault breaker. Or <clears throat> all circuits other than your small appliance and appliance circuit are now required to be on an art fault breaker. I don't have an art fault breaker to show you today, but I do have them drawn here to show that the art fault breakers are a thick breaker in itself. And currently there is no thin art fault for the GE type panels. So that's the configuration for a single phase GE electrical panel, the breaker configuration and the bus layout. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and if you care to see more, um, feel free to subscribe and I'll be making more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.